Hey everyone, William Spear here from Autodesk and uh, today this presentation we're going to take a look at just how versatile Revit really is and how we can use it across different disciplines uh, not just for buildings and what have you and some other add-in tools that will work with it, some other uh, Autodesk software that works well with it and in this particular case what you're looking at here is a bunch of uh, solar power panels that I created and the story behind this is a uh, solar panel manufacturer came to us and asked us hey do you think we can use Revit to do BIM for solar power manufacturing and I thought it presented a really interesting opportunity so I decided to take them up on it and see what we could do with it uh, so I started off by creating these power panels here and first of all what you can see that I did with them was I created several different types so I created a 4x4 a 6x6 and an 8x8 panel and I gave each of them a capacity so 1000 watts, 1500 watts and 2000 watts right so I gave each of them a capacity and this is a shared parameter for capacity right there right and <clears throat> because Revit doesn't have connectors that provide power they have connectors that consume it you have to create a shared parameter to create that capacity and then track it right so if you actually sum all of it up in a schedule you can see that I have all the powers power for each one of these or each category of these and a total down below and I could show all of them. you could see all hundred of them but uh, you could see here the count is 40 30 and 30 and what the total here is 145,000 watts all right so it's pretty easy to do and to set up from that standpoint and plus what I did also was I gave each of them being these are nested families so I had to create them that way I gave each of them the ability to adjust in elevation so if I change that to 45 and apply, you can see that the panels start to tilt and perhaps change this to 15 degrees and you can see that they rotate. We can make them look really flat. Bring them around and so on. Right? And if you want to actually see the move without the main highlight, it'll just undo those moves so you can watch the panels move around and tilt and change and rotate in position. Right? So <clears throat> these are pretty robust features in and of themselves and something that a solar panel manufacturer would like to be able to use. Right? Um, so we decided to take a little bit further and see what other things we could do with this. So as a solar power manufacturer, some of the things I have to consider is where is my field going to be located? Right? So we went into Civil 3D and in Civil 3D we took a background in Spokane, this is where this came from, right? And laid it out over a field with a river running past it so we have some organic shapes and some straight lines in here as well, right? And um, basically did a cut and fill so you can see this um, irregular triangular network in here or triangular irregular network, a tin file that we got out of that and basically having this big triangle here allowed me to place this work plane on top of it in Revit. So you bring this CAD entity into, or AutoCAD entity to Revit and lay this plane on top of it and now I have a surface to work with and what we really found that was nice about this is when I brought this in if I look up here up in the upper right corner where you can see the elevation is look where it came in at. It came in at 16, 615 feet above sea level. So this elevation that you're looking at there happens to be the actual true elevation. We didn't have to do anything special to make it do that. It just came in from Civil picking up that metadata from Civil, Civil 3D. right? Um, so then what we can do of course is go in and put an underlay on this of the actual Google Maps. right? And you can see where this plot of land lies now. right? And then we can start actually applying some of the solar panels to this. So um, it becomes pretty self-evident that Revit works well with other software like Civil 3D. Um, you can use it to bring in the background you need at the elevation you need and so on. And we decided to take it some steps further than that. So we decided to array these different fields inside of here and then take some measures to start being able to grab the entities, the outsides here, and push and pull them and what have you, and the insides automatically adjust. And you can do some of that with Dynamo. You can do it natively in Revit as well. Um, but we played around with different uh, ways of doing that 
and we're very happy with how things turned out. In fact, we drew a circle in the middle of one, or just a weird shape, like a shape of an outline of a pond, and then all the panels in that area, they disappear. So that's standard work for Revit. Most people that are familiar with Revit knows that Revit can do that. Where we really wanted to get fancy with this, though, is what's really important to a solar manufacturer, right? And the answer is being able to track where the sun actually is. So I asked Zach Cron at Autodesk, who is our Dynamo guru, whether or not something like that was possible. And so if you turn on the sun, so let's back up here so you can see it. So I just turned on the sun. So you now have the sun path on here. And we take a look at some of these panels. So here's a typical field of panels. And we made them a lot bigger so you could see them just for the purposes of presenting this and being able to see what's happening. But if you take these panels and turn on the sun and then you do some dynamo programming to it, let me bring dynamo up. And by the way, if you're interested in downloading dynamo and playing with it, uh, you can go out to dynamo bim dot org and it'll take you to this website and you can play with it it's an open source graphical program for designing there's the version current version you can download and then on top of all that you have learning resources on here a blog gallery community and so forth so this is a uh, fairly thorough offering at this point and it's free so go ahead and download that and play with it if you're interested in it so what I decided to do is uh, check with Zach Cron and see if this was doable and sure enough if I take the Sun grab this here and maneuver it to a new position let me zoom up here so you can see this there's the solar panels Let's move this off to the side a little bit so you can see more of it and hit run take a look at that is that the bomb diggity or what this will actually allow these panels to pan and tilt as needed to track wherever the sun's location is so that what's happening is if you look at any one of these panels and you were to place a vector normal to that surface normal to the solar panel surface it would actually be pointing to the sun so <clears throat> overall story here is the solar power manufacturers can certainly use Revit for a solution a very viable solution their manufacturing needs because as you build these panels you can create a bill of materials inside of Revit you don't have to include all of them as actual geometry you can include them as parameters if you'd like but that keeps your bill of materials correct uh, you can import backgrounds from Civil 3D to actually work on those planes and fields and, and create geometry that's organic you know to line up with a river offset for, for easements and so on um, just fantastically powerful tool when you add dynamo to the mix things become even more robust and as you can see here we can even track the sun with these solar panels which I thought was just way cool and had to share that with everybody so hopefully this has been uh, edifying and beneficial for you and if you come up with anything cool uh, that you've done with Dynamo make sure you put it on the blog out there uh, certainly copy me on it if you would you can always contact me at william.spear at autodesk.com but there's a blog where you can go and put things up. You can post things on the gallery as well. And by all means, do it to it. All right. Well, that's enough for today. Thank you very much for joining us and hope to talk to you again soon.